Hey there, pen friends, and welcome to the channel again. It's your host, Amy from PenVenture. I have a parcel coming from our friends over at Scribo. I'm super excited to showcase their latest Puma collection on our channel in this video right now. I know that many of you are familiar with Scribo as a brand, but for those that are watching and don't know what Scribo stands for, I would like to say a few words about them. They are a small team of very talented individuals coming from another font pen manufacturer that went bankrupt, Omas, very famous from Italy, and they are united under the name Scribo or Scrittura Bolognese. They are in Bologna in Italy and they are well known for very interesting nibs and fountain pens. Today we are going to experience a new model from them and they don't come around too often because the other model was the Scribo Feel and prior to that was a model that I'm not very familiar with. But again, the Feel collection is what many of you are very familiar with. But that is not the subject of our review. The subject of our review is the entire Scribo Puma collection, which I personally like a lot because it offers the possibility of actually getting to experience their nibs in a much more less expensive way. Well, the plan for this video would be to showcase the entire ownership experience with the Scribo Puma. Then I'm going to show you some of the features of the Scribo Puma collection, the colors, the ergonomics. Then we will go into a size comparison, writing sample, and at the end I will conclude showcasing my uh, thoughts and opinions regarding this collection. And let's go forward, first of all, with the ownership experience. This is the box of the Scribo Puma collection. This is very similar to the other ones, the Scribo Feel. We open the box like this. Inside we will find the famous Scribo pouch, which you can use to carry two fountain pens with you. Here you have a uh, polishing cloth. Under this pouch you will find a small sleeve or envelope containing the warranty and a few information regarding the Scribo brand. I want to stay honest to you guys. So we received the font pens yesterday. I'm not that familiar with the color. So I want to use the screen right here just to guide me into what each and every color of the Scribo Puma collection is called. So I hope I'm not missing anything. The first band that we are going to display right here is called the Scribo Utopia. It is a gorgeous, gorgeous example of a very beautiful dark blue resin, navy blue. In this resin you will find a few sparkles of gray. It is chatoyant, this gray, and it pops. It's very familiar with another resin which I'm uh, well known to carry in my inventory and you can find somewhat of a close material in resembles with this one in our Stipula Florencia Notte di San Lorenzo. Moving forward, we have another color and that one is called the Puma Ratio. And this collection is made up of four different colors to display a variant of colors and it has uh, a certain pattern, this resins, and two are solid colors. This is one of them, the Scribo Puma Ratio. And it's a beautiful burgundy, deep, deep uh, burgundy color. It's very close to wine actually. Moving forward we have another color which is solid and saturated and that one is the Scribo Puma Leaf or Grigio. Grigio and it's a famous color from Scribo because it was displayed on the Scribo Field collection and it's a very nice blue actually. In person it looks much more better than in pictures from my experience and it's a uh, light turquoise mixed with a gray, if I'm not mistaken. It looks very, very, very good. Last but not least, we have the Scribo Puma Altrove, and it is stunning. This is probably my favorite. I don't think the camera does justice to this color. I'm gonna use a few close-up pictures 
and motions just to showcase this beautiful color and this resin features pink purple and they are mixed very very nicely and integrated now i want to put all of them right here and we are going to focus our review on one single pen which is this one right here the scribo puma utopia now let's move into some of the features of this pen and let's start with the first one the finial right here and on this finial we have a medallion it bears the feather which is the international symbol for writing and scribo is using this symbol a lot it has a dome like structure this finial it's flat on both ends right here moving forward we have the cap and the cap is very streamlined it tapers out a little bit right there we have a seamless transition between the cap and the barrel we have the clip which is very very uh, nicely integrated and very uh, flush it copies the overall shape of the cap so it doesn't stand out too much like maybe you would expect but it's practical it's quite quite uh, soft and be careful not to bend this clip then we get to one of the most interesting features about this pen because Scribo is well known for their facets so this pen is displaying two facets which I think is very unique and beautiful and we have uh, a facet right here i hope the light captures this facet and on the opposite side we have another facet the clip actually follows this facet right here and this is nice because this pen is very practical and you can totally leave it like this and it won't roll off your desk it actually stops in that facet which i think is very nice because i've had a lot of pens that rolled off my desk and i don't want to go into the details of that it's a horror movie okay moving forward we have the cap which is a screw cap like other models from scribo the feel and we have one and we have one and a quarter of a turn to uncap this fountain pen and we are greeted by the nib regarding nibs just like i told you in the beginning of the video i have something special for you guys but let's get there first of all let's start with the nib options that you have for any scribo including the scribo puma we have 14 karat gold nibs which are flexible and the cost of the puma with that nib is 470 euros and those go from extra fine, fine, medium, and broad. Then we have 18 karat gold nibs, which are not flexible. And those are uh, going from uh, extra fine, fine, medium, broad. And we have stub and triple broad. Stub and triple broad being two specialty nibs. And those have a different pricing. For the triple broad and the stub, we have... 570 euros if you want to have them on this pen the other ones the extra fine through broad in 18 karat gold we don't carry at this moment and this time scribo delights us with something special on this pen right here we have the new extra extra fine 18 karat gold nib which is a specialty nib that comes with a different pricing different from the flex nibs and different from the specialty triple broad and stub and the pricing for this nib is 520 euros let's go into the features of this nib on the nib you will find engraved the beautiful beautiful motif scribo feel the writing and also you will see that on the left shoulder we have the nib size stamped I love the Scribo nibs 18 karat specialty 18 karat normal 14 karat it doesn't matter every single Scribo nib is powered by a ebonite feed which is stunning it offers such a wet and consistent ink flow and I love them both the nib and the ebonite feed are friction fitted inside the nib uh, unit which is screw in the section and you can disassemble this fountain pen very easy in order to maintain and clean 
the nib assembly. Moving forward, we have the section, which on the Puma is very, very ergonomic and it's a little bit different than the actual section of the Scribo feel. It has this feature right here. It's like a collar, which doesn't allow your fingers to slip towards the nib. And I feel the Scribo Puma to be very comfortable and very interesting. Moving towards the barrel, we find this ring right here. We have the grooves of the capping system, which are not sharp, but again, they are not that small. Forward from the treads, we have a big step up, which is, well, Let's just say I'm not a huge fan of this, but I'm a huge fan of the actual result of that step up, meaning that we have a seamless transition from the cap towards the barrel. It is not marked by any rings or anything like this. It's seamless. Also, you can spot that no matter how you cap this pan, you will always align those two facets. Don't get your OCD too high because it doesn't matter how you cap the pan, those two facets will always align. Moving forward, we have the barrel and this barrel displays a nice shape, which we all call cigar shape. So actually, if we put the pan like this, we don't take into consideration the fact that both ends are a little bit flat. This pan displays a nice cigar shape, which I do like a lot. On the main facet, which aligns with the nib, we have a little engraving with the name of the company, Scribo. Since it's completely aligned with the nib, I do like a lot. The same two facets run on the entire length of the barrel. We have the end finial, which is tapering in and it's flatting just like the cap. Let's go and showcase the filling system of the Scribo Puma. And this is very nice because this pan is equipped with a cartridge or standard international cartridge converter. It's engraved with Scribo and it is plugged in directly into the section. And this is the brilliance of Scribo because now you can have the same Scribo nibs which everyone loves them much more cheaper due to the fact that this pan is not displaying a piston filling mechanism just like the Scribo feel. What I actually don't recommend you guys doing is trying to eyedropper this fountain pen because this part right here is metal so you risk getting corrosion on that metal part and those are some of the features that I think are attributed to the Scribo Puma collection. I would dare to say that this font pen is not going to be able to be posted or used posted because it posts but it's not that secure. This font pen is to be used and posted in my opinion. And now I think it's time to put the Scribo field next to other pen models. Let's display the overall aspect of this founder pen. Let's see the dimensions, the weight. Then let's take the new 18 karat extra extra fine nib on the paper and see how it handles. And in the end, I will conclude everything in a few personal conclusions and we will end the video. Here is Scribo Puma standing next to other pen models. From left to right, we have Leonardo Momento Zero Grande Primary Manipulation, Leonardo Furore Grande, Scribo Puma, Visconti Homo Sapiens, and Scribo Feel. You can easily observe that the Scribo Puma is not an oversized fountain pen, but it's quite big while staying light and very, very nimble. The overall measurements of the fountain pen are Capped, the fountain pen measures 145 millimeters, uncapped 133 millimeters, and the total weight of the fountain pen capped is 30 grams, and uncapped is 22 grams. And we have the pen, and this is the Scribo Puma. We have the nib. And this is the 18 karat gold extra, extra fine. We have the ink and it is diamine, pearl, gray. 
then we have the paper and this is Tomoy River 52 GSM a very very beautiful nib let's check the wetness and just like I told you it's wet but since this is an extra extra fine you wouldn't want this nib to be very very wet so it follows the guideline perfect now let's see some normal figure of eights and the nib is very smooth for an extra extra fine in my experience now let's not call this nib a flex nib but if we are careful and apply a little bit of pressure we do see an increase in the ink flow and we have a little bit of line variation but again don't call this nib a flex nib and don't try to push it too hard because it will spring now let's do the famous sentence and we have the quick brown fox jumps over the lazy dog there is some feedback pleasant feedback the nib is not skipping doesn't have any hard starts the flow is very very precise and beautiful and it's one of the best alternatives to a Japanese very fine nib welcome back I hope you enjoyed the writing sample at least I did and um, let me share some of my personal opinions regarding the Scribo Puma first of all let me say that a big thank you goes out to Scribo because they opened the gate for everyone including myself and you guys to experience their nibs at a much more reasonable pricing and that is big thumbs up moving forward we have the new nib which i think is spectacular because uh, a lot of european pen manufacturers don't offer such nib grades if you want an extra extra fine a true extra extra fine you would need to go to japanese brands and this is a pen that comes very very close to a japanese extra extra fine it's more wet it's maybe not that hairline or needle point like a Japanese extra extra fine but again I take the Scribo extra extra fine any day of the week moving forward I would like to say that we don't see Scribo coming up with new models every single time I like to see that they are evolving changing things and offering us a fresh new model that is important the practicality of this fun pen with the with this facet is amazing this is a pen that you will feel very comfortable to leave on your desk without risking it rolling off the desk it's a fun pen which is made out in a very very strong and resilient resin which i dare you to carry this fun pen with you every single day of the week without any problems it's equipped with a lot of nib options which are fun and you can go with something that is flexy or you can go with something which is like this one extra extra fine we have uh, exotic nib ranges like triple broad and stub 18 karat gold which come and offer this fun pen an amazing amazing nib option range and i think you can find anything if you like a certain type of nib on Scribo as a brand the way it feels is very nice it's very balanced like I said previously I wouldn't go as far as posting this font pen because uh, it's not posting too deep or too secure it's ergonomic the only thing that I would change would be the step up right here which is quite abruptly ending or starting it's not sharp but again I wouldn't change it because it wouldn't make the fountain pen close and offer this uh, very very smooth transition between the cap and the barrel besides that I don't find anything wrong about this fountain pen it's practical it's nice it's 
limited edition fountain pen. Although it's not numbered, I think there are 219 pens for each color. Those are my personal thoughts regarding the Scribo Puma. Well, that's kind of it. Thank you for spending this time with me reviewing the Scribo Puma collection. Remember, if you're interested in owning such a pen down below, you'll find the links for them. You can go there, choose the nib set that you want. Uh, we only have one of each color. All of our pre-orders are already sent out to our customers and that's it. If you enjoyed this content, don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up. This will help me a lot with the algorithm. Down below, you will also find the links for our website, our social media accounts. You can uh, follow us on Instagram. You can hit a big like on our Facebook page. And remember, you can always email me if you need something from us. Don't forget to subscribe to the Penventure YouTube channel by clicking here right here and turn the notification bell on. And if you want to see more quality content from myself and Pam Venture, you can click on this video right here and watch it. My name is Amy and I look forward to seeing you next video. Take care, stay safe, bye bye.